The Abadi movement, Ibadism, or Ibadiyya, also known as the Abadis Arabic, al al is a school of Islam dominant in Oman. It is also found in parts of Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, and East Africa. The movement is said to have been founded around the year 650 CE or about 20 years after the death of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, predating both the Sunni and Shia denominations. Modern historians trace back the origins of the denomination to a moderate current of the Khawarij movement. Contemporary Abadis strongly object to being classified as Kharijites, although they recognize that their movement originated with the Kharijite secession of 657 CE. Topic: History. The school derives its name from Abdu El La Ibn Ibad of the Banu Tamim. Ibn Ibad was responsible for breaking off from the wider Qarijit movement roughly around the time that Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan, the fifth Umayyad ruler, took power. However, the true founder was Habir ibn Zayd of Nizwa, Oman. Initially, Abadi theology developed in Basra, Iraq. The Abadis opposed the rule of the third caliph in Islam, Uthman ibn Affan, but unlike the more extreme Qarijites the Abadis rejected the murder of Uthman as well as the Qarijite belief that all Muslims holding differing viewpoints were infidels. The Abadis were among the more moderate groups opposed to the fourth caliph, Ali, and wanted to return Islam to its form prior to the conflict between Ali and Muawiyah I due to their opposition to the Umayyad Caliphate. The Abadis attempted an armed insurrection starting in the Hiyas region in the 740s. Caliph Marwan II led a 4,000 strong army and routed the Abadis first in Mecca, then in Sana'a in Yemen, and finally surrounded them in Shabam in western Hadramaut. Problems back in their heartland of Syria forced the Umayyads to sign a peace accord with the Abadis, and the sect was allowed to retain a community in Shabam for the next four centuries while still paying taxes to Abadi authorities in Oman. For a period after Marwan II's death, Habir ibn Zayd maintained a friendship with Umayyad general al hajjaj ibn Yusuf, who supported the Abadis as a counterbalance to more extreme Qarijites. Ibn Zayd ordered the assassination of one of al hajjajs spies, however, and in reaction many Abadis were imprisoned or exiled to Oman. It was during the 8th century that the Abadis established an imamate in the inner region of Oman. The position was an elected one, as opposed to Sunni and Shia dynasties where rule was inherited. These Imams exerted political, spiritual, and military functions. By the year 900, Ibadism had spread to Sindh, Khorosan, Hadramaut, Dofar, Oman proper, Muscat, the Nafusa Mountains, and Keshem. By 1200, the sect was present in Al Andalus, Sicily, Mazab, the Algerian Sahara, and the western part of the Sahel region as well. The last Abadis of Shabam were expelled by the Sulayhid dynasty in the 12th century. In the 14th century, historian Ibn Khaldun made reference to vestiges of Abadi influence in Hadramaut, though the sect no longer exists in the region today. <laughs> Relations with other communities Despite predating all Sunni and Shia schools by several decades, the Abadis and their beliefs remain largely a mystery to outsiders, both non-Muslims and even other Muslims. Abadis have claimed, with justification, that while they read the works of both Sunnis and Shias, even the learned scholars of those two sects never read Abadi works and often repeat myths and false information when they address the topic of Ibadism without performing proper research. The isolated nature of Oman granted the Abadi denomination, secretive by nature, the perfect environment to develop in isolation from the Islamic mainstream. Abadis were cut off even from the Qarijit sect because of Ibn Ibad's criticism of their excesses and his rejection of their more extreme beliefs. The spread of Ibadism in Oman essentially represents the triumph of theology over tribal feudalism and conflict. Abadis have been referred to as tolerant Puritans or as political quietists because of their preference to solve differences through dignity and reason rather than with confrontation, as well as their tolerance for practicing Christians and Jews sharing their communities. Ibadism's movement from Hiyas to Iraq and then further out made Abadi historian al Salimi once write that Ibadism is a bird whose egg was laid in Medina, hatched in Basra, and flew to Oman. Topic. Views Abadis state, with reason, that their school predates that of mainstream Islamic schools, and Ibadism is thus considered to be an early and highly orthodox interpretation of Islam. Topic. Doctrinal differences with other denominations 
Abadis have several doctrinal differences with other denominations of Islam, chief among them. God will not show himself to Muslims on the Day of Judgment, a belief shared with Shias. Sunnis believe that Muslims will see God on the Day of Judgment. The Quran was created by God at a certain point in time. This belief is shared with the Mu'tazila, whereas Sunnis hold the Quran to be co-eternal with God, as exemplified by the suffering of Ahmad ibn Hanbal during the Minna. Like the Mu'tazila and Shias, they interpret anthropomorphic references to God in the Quran symbolically rather than literally. Their views on predestination are like the Ashari Sunnis i.e. occasionalism. It is unnecessary to have one leader for the entire Muslim world, and if no single leader is fit for the job, Muslim communities can rule themselves. That is different from both the Sunni belief of caliphate and the Shia belief of imama. It is not necessary for the ruler of the Muslims to be descended from the Quraysh tribe, which was the tribe of the Muslim prophet Muhammad. That is different from Shias. They believe it is acceptable to conceal one's beliefs under certain circumstances kitman, analogous to the Shia taqiyya. Topic. Views on Islamic history and caliphate Abadis agree with Sunnis, regarding Abu Bakr and Umar ibn al-Khattab as rightly guided caliphs. They regard the first half of Uthman ibn Affan's rule as righteous and the second half as corrupt and affected by both nepotism and heresy. They approve of the first part of Ali's caliphate and like Shia, disapprove of Aisha's rebellion and Muawiyah I's revolt. However, they regard Ali's acceptance of arbitration at the Battle of Sifan as rendering him unfit for leadership, and condemn him for killing the Kawarij of Anar in the Battle of Narawan. Modern Abadi theologians defend the early Qarijid opposition to Uthman, Ali, and Muawiyah. Moroccan explorer Ibn Battuta observed Abadis praying Jamu'ah in Oman and said they prayed in the same manner as Zur prayer. He noticed that they invoked God's mercy on Abu Bakr and Umar but not Uthman and Ali. In their belief, the next legitimate caliph was Abdullah ibn Wahb al Rasibi, the leader of the Qarijids who turned against Ali for his acceptance of arbitration with Muawiyah. All caliphs from Muawiyah onward are considered tyrants except Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, on whom opinions differ. Numerous Abadi leaders are recognized as true imams, including Abdullah ibn Yahya al-Kindi of South Arabia and the imams of the Rustamid dynasty in North Africa. Traditionally, conservative Omani Ibadism rejected monarchy and hereditary rule, and Abadi leaders were elected. Despite bitter religious disputes elsewhere, the Abadis are realists and believe that reason and political expediency must temper the ideal Islamic state. Topic. View of Hadith Abadis accept as authentic far fewer Hadith than do Sunnis. Several Ibadi founding figures were noted for their Hadith research, and Habir ibn Zayd is accepted as a reliable narrator even by Sunni scholars as well as by Abadis. After the death of Ibn Ibad, Ibn Zayd led the Abadis and withdrew to Oman, where his hadith, along with those of other early Abadis formed the corpus of their interpretation of Islamic law. Topic. View of theology The development of Abadi theology happened thanks to the works of scholars and imams of the community, whose histories, lives, and personalities are part of the Islamic history. Abadi theology can be understood on the basis of their works Ibn Ibad, Habir bin Zayd, Abu Ubaida, Rabi b. Habib and Abu Sufyan among others. Basra is the foundation of the Abadi community. Various Abadi communities that were established in southern Arabia, with bases in Oman, North Africa, and East Africa mainly. Topic. View of jurisprudence The fiqh or jurisprudence of Abadis is relatively simple. Absolute authority is given to the Quran and Hadith. New innovations accepted on the basis of qiyas, or analogical reasoning, were rejected as bid'ah by the Abadis. That differs from the majority of Sunnis except minority Zahiri and early Hanbali schools of Sunnism, but agrees with Shias. Topic. Demographics Abadis make up a majority roughly 75% of the population in Oman. There are roughly 2.72 million Abadis worldwide, of which 250,000 live outside Oman. 
As a result, Oman is the only country in the Muslim world with an Abadi majority population. Historically, the early medieval Rustamid dynasty in Algeria was Abadi, and refugees from its capital, Tiarat, founded the North African Abadi communities, which still exist in Mazab. The Mozabites, a Berber ethnic group in Mazab, are Abadis. Abadis are also found in East Africa, particularly Zanzibar, the Nafusa Mountains of Libya, and Jerba Island in Tunisia. There is a group of Salafis who have converted to Abadis in the island nation of the Maldives since 2016. They follow the sheikhs of Oman. Notable Abadis Individuals Suleiman al Biruni, Wali of Tripolitania, Ahmed bin Hamid al Khalili, current Grand Mufti of Oman, Qaboos bin Said al Said, Sultan of Oman and its dependencies, Nouri Abusamain, President of the former General National Congress and former Libyan Head of State, Mofdi Zakaria, poet, writer, and nationalist militant, author of Qasiman the Algerian National Anthem. Topic. Dynasties Rustamid dynasty, 776–909 Nabani dynasty, 1154–1624 Yoruba dynasty, 1624–1742 Al Said, 1744–present See also Gardea Islam in Oman Sultanate of Zanzibar Topic References Topic Further reading Pesa Shinar Modern Islam in the Maghreb Jerusalem The Max Schlossinger Memorial Foundation 2004 a collection of papers some previously unpublished dealing with Islam in the Maghreb, practices, and beliefs. External links Abadi Islam, an introduction A concise history of al-Ibadiyya Ibn Ibad and the Abadi school of Islamic law